Christmas Straw Family Farm again. Okay, so thanks to diff technical difficulties, our entire thing did not record. We don't know why. We hit the button, we watched it say 3, 2, 1, and it was gone. Psalms so. 48, 1. <laughs> it's so nice. Gotta find his Bible verse. I've already eaten my snack. Um, it was a German chocolate, dark, rich chocolate bar. I still have my green tea. RJ. I gotta find it. Hang on. <laughs> he There's was something eating, about the um, Lord. Tiny conversation hearts and tropical punch. He's looking for Bible verse again. Just Google inspirational. Inspirational Bible verse. You guys get whatever comes up. Because <laughs> it's not what it was. Palms 46 1. God is our refuge and our strength and every present help and trouble. Ever present help and trouble. There you go. And that is the same verse he did use the first time, correct? Yes, yes it is. So, um, yeah, welcome again, even though you didn't see the first time. All right, so maybe this time will be shorter because we already know what we're going to talk about. <laughs> we had a whole lot of nothing going on there, folks. A whole lot of dog talk. Mm -hmm. All right, in the barn stalls. Nothing. There's nothing. There. Okay, Coop. Good. Good. She's fine. Mm -hmm. um, sheep were all wormed this week. Yep. Um, the we big dogs. The donkeys off. And yep, the and the kids. cattle. Look, here comes Wilbur again. Exactly. We had a whole section on Wilbur and his tongue that it goes out to the side. It can't be kept inside. <laughs> Look at how big his paws are. See if you can get his paw. Look at those paws. That is one massive dog, and he is nine months old. Carl's under the table, and he is smaller than Wilbur. Now, we also talked about Wilbur's issues. Hi, baby. I love you. Yes, I do. I love you, but you need to get down while we're recording. Okay. Get him down. Come on. I've got him. All right. Keep him right there then. All right. Um, he loves to be loved on. Wilbur, since his distemper, is not... He's not a independent thinker, is he, son? No. Um, what we've noticed is if he is outside by himself, he just sits down. If there's no Carl, no RJ, no me know anybody out there with him he just sits down he can't think of what to do if you call him in and he doesn't come i thought if i shut the door he'd just come he just sits down he just has no idea what to do and he does not think um doc said it's a side effect of the distemper we're lucky to have him but it just means he's not my brain falls out. right in his head now um with that being said what does it look like is going to happen with car with wilbur He's actually trying to dig a hole in the concrete right now. Wilbur, honey, you can't. He does that two or three times a day, too. He just does it. And now I just came back over and laid down with RJ. Like, I can't think of it, so... Um, but anyway, he... What's going to happen when I get the tiny house done, son? He is going to stay with you. He is. He's probably going to stay with me. Um, the the reason being... Where'd you get that? What's he got? I don't know. He finds things. He does. He finds things everywhere. And he just chews on them. And it's not puppy chew. It's like he has to shred. He just has to have something in his mouth all the time. Mm -hmm. um, give, him, give him this. If I give him a piece, he'll chew on what I want him to chew on. But if not, he'll take invoices off the counters. He'll take all kinds of stuff on him. Mm -hmm. Here, Wilbur. There's your paper. Good boy. Now he's content. Mm -hmm. And he's going to go over. Now him and Moose get along. Well, Moose keeps him in check, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. See, he's just over there chewing on that piece of paper. He's happy. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Moose, it'll be a tiny house with a nine pound dog and a tiny house with a, a 90, pound dog. <laughs> 90 pound dog. And it's because um, there will be more controlled area. I'm going to try and get him over the chewing thing so that I don't have to <laughs> chew, <laughs> so I don't have to give him things to chew on. He has toys, he doesn't prefer to chew on them, he prefers paper. So, but, take stock in a newspaper stand. There you go. 
Um, Carl's under our feet, and when he's outside, Jethro keeps him in track, doesn't mm -hmm. he? So, looks like Carl's going to be the outside one. Wilbur, we're attached to him, so yeah, he probably would make a better pet than a farm dog, huh? All he's done? Kind of, are you all done? Okay. Uh oh. Now my phone. Oh, and Please hold for technical difficulties, folks. And we're back. Yeah. Again. Third time strong. So, yep. Sorry. Okay, so that's Wilbur. He's got his issues. He's gonna be a huge dog. He's bigger than Carl, huh? Yep. He can be back up, but he can't ever be left by himself. So Jethro or Carl have to be out there and with him at all times. Um anything else in the barn stalls? No. Mending fences. So anything we haven't gotten anything. Everything's we haven't frozen. Broke anything, so we haven't fixed anything. Well, it's yeah, yeah, you broke a lot of ice this week. Yep. And so But I don't want to put that back together. Nope. Alright, in the yarn farm. This year I'm gonna do mini sessions every Saturday morning. I haven't put out a schedule of them, but they're just gonna be very basic overviews of milking, washing wool. Um, it'll be included in the price of admission here on the farm. So uh, just a mini overview. April sixth, folks. Right there. Yes, date down. April 6th is our big grand opening for the year. Welcome we will not have day. a mini session that day because that's already discounted for our grand opening. So um, we do that every year. Discounted pony rides, discounted entrance, everything. So April 6th. It's the first Saturday in April every year. Be here. Right here. That's right. Exactly. In this kitchen. Right here, folks. Get no, right not in this here. kitchen. No, in the pasture. Oh, okay. And no, we don't change it for weather. If nobody comes, nobody comes. If they come, they come. We don't fuss with it. Um, no fuss, no muss. That's right. So look for that schedule of mini sessions on Saturday mornings during the summer. And then uh, our big event. Anything else? Anything oh, else in the yard farm? That other thing. No, no, no. I, no. I, I was thinking day. about it. Hey. Okay. In the field. Nothing. My gourds are still out there. RJ still hasn't picked them up. Don't know if they're even going to make it, but we'll see. Aren't they in the barn in the greenhouse? No. Uh, they're still laying out where I asked you to get them the other day. I say the other day. It's I'll been put on a, a mini week, seminar, a Mom. I got a mini seminar. We're going on a nose picking seminar. We are not. Little kids watch this. Mm. Do not do that. Oh, I got to get find a pair of tweezers. Those work real good. Just No. <laughs> I'm hiding tweezers. Will a crochet hook will work just no. fine. No. Little kids don't need to pick their nose. Stop it. You just got to get up here and get to going. Quit, quit, quit. Okay, next. That's in the field. On the porch. That's right. No, in the farmhouse. No. In the farmhouse first. And, okay, so I have just Don't this drop it in your tea, tea. Yeah. Um. Hang on, I got to catch my loop there. Uh, I kind of pulled on it. I shouldn't have. Uh. Okay, so I just have this little bit of yarn left, and I hate having a little bit. So even though it'll probably be out of pattern, I probably will try to do something along the edge that's just like a single crochet across there. But for the most part, this is over 800 yards, right? Or right at 800 yards. And it is as long as my body. So if I put this here, it's actually a little bit longer than my body, and it's not blocked. But she's short, so that's not saying much. I'm not short. I'm average. You're a little below average, but it's okay. I am five, two and three quarters, so therefore I can say I am five, three. <laughs> five, three. Is that before or after you take off your lifts? Shut up. And I don't have lifts, they're just tennis shoes, but they do have a little bit of a, probably an inch. <laughs> So you're all of five foot nothing. Five. I'm five foot two and three quarters. So you take them tinnies off, then you're five foot one. I've never actually measured without my shoes on. <laughs> She's a whopping five foot. Folks. And then I'll wear flats, like little ballet slippers, and so I look kind of short. Okay. All right, <laughs> next. How was your week, son? That was pretty good. You went roping? Yep. What'd you get done? Um, I didn't do any good Saturday. Then I went there open Sunday. Okay. 
And what did you get for your trouble on Sunday? I want a saddle. For sale, folks. For sale right. or trade. It is. Trade. Um, now, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? But, Depends on what side you look at. Well, why are you selling it? Because it's not really what I want. Well, it's a team rope and saddle. Explain yeah. the difference. People that watch us don't always know. Um, so RJ's actually a calf roper, and he won the saddle in the team roping, correct? Yeah. Now, in the calf roping, you have to dismount your horse, and you do that by taking your leg up over the back of the saddle. Team roping has a high back saddle so that it sets you, so that you when you better. dally and you lean back and you put, you're there. You're not going to get thrown off. So what happens when you go to dismount from a team roping saddle? It's a lot harder. Got to get your leg up higher. And if you hit that, it what's going to happen? So. <laughs> or it'll flip you off. You'll catch your leg and mm -hmm. on the ground, right? So it's just not made for him. And do you have time to change from team rope and saddle to calf rope and saddle? Most in between? of the time, no. So, well, yeah, it'd be great if you had, you know, two different horses or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we don't. We have multi-purpose horses and... and it is what it is. Matter of fact, you rode Ice, which is a calf roping horse, correct? Yep. And he did some of the team roping to win that saddle. Yep. <laughs> Matter of fact, he's the one that won the last saddle, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Coop's never won a saddle. It's because she is a... Calf horse. Strictly calf roping horse. She doesn't do anything else. Mm -hmm. So. Don't give a lot of saddles away. Nope. So, anyway... Anything else going on? We have now revised this to like six minutes, maybe ten minutes, and it's because we've already gone through it once. So it was. And we kind cut of, out a lot of the silly. Yeah, we did. Um, the dogs. There was a little dog tussle in the first one. Moose oh. put Wilbur in line with one bark. It's funny to see a nine-pound dog take down a sixty-pound dog. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't get to see that because, again, it uh, didn't, didn't record. I have no idea why. Said it um, was. Next week we're going to play with. We have another laptop. And we know that this lags. On our end, when we're doing all this, our video is fine, is it not? Right. It matches everything. Yeah. We See? edit it. It all matches. When it compresses to upload, something happens. And I'm not sure what. If it's... <sighs> we, we live in the country, so our online stuff is not great. But we'll see. We'll see if the different computer makes a difference. Okay, and it's a Linux, so maybe it's a Windows thing. I don't know. Yes, we use both. Okay, just saying. We have a lot of Windows in here. There's one, two, three, four. We're talking about computer program. Oh, five. No, it makes five. The All right. Five anyway, anything else going on? There was this thing. What thing? You gave Wilbur a piece of paper. Yep, and he went over there and he shredded it. And, he shredded went over and, laid and then down he and went sleep. over, laid down, and he's just sleeping. Sleeping. He's happy. He was given a piece of paper. He took care of it. It's his job. Mm -hmm. Little things amuse him. But you know, he won't play with, play with pop bottles either. No. Nope. Like Moose and Carl love pop bottles. And they will chase them everywhere. Wilbur doesn't, does he? Does he? No. Alright. No. So, I know it's short and sweet so and all the silliness busy. is gone. But sorry, we don't know My what happened. My head is spinning. Your mouth is spinning too. What did you say? Your mouth is spinning, too. Will you stop moving, please? Nope. Boy, now you're really moving. <laughs> Bye, guys.